Cody here with DadDare.com. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about catching moles on your property. Have you ever felt a mole? Oh wow, they are soft. I stick them back in the back in the hole. Other moles won't come here. If you don't know me, my name is Cody and I am a dad to be uh, here in a couple weeks actually. Uh, we're gonna have our first child, it is a boy. This Dad Dare channel is all about daring to become and be the best dad that you can be. I am also a homeowner and being a homeowner, one of my desires is to have the place looking nice and a recent desire is I discovered a problem and I want that problem to go away. The problem is moles. So if I can get rid of these moles, our property will not only look a lot better, but I won't have to worry about what's going on underneath the soil, if they're chewing up roots of plants. Moles have a benefit by causing aeration, but in the majority of cases when they're on your property in your lawn, you don't want them there. There's another previous video where I used the Victor mole trap. You can check that out. This trap just really hasn't been working as well as I wanted it to. It's difficult to set, a lot more riskier to set. I almost snipped one of my fingers off in the process. I needed a better solution. If I'm not able to figure out how to get rid of these moles, they're just gonna continue to multiply and there's gonna be mole mounds all over the property and they just won't stop. So if I can't figure this out, what's really at stake is like the moles are gonna take over our property and we're not gonna be able to live here anymore because the moles are gonna invade and yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be ugly if we don't do something right now. One of our friends gave us a housewarming gift and it was a gopher hawk trap. So a little bit different from the other trap and I went to try it out and it was amazing. There's a few things you should know about the gopher hawk trap. First you should know that moles have two different types of runs. They have holes that are deeper in the ground and then they have holes that are more towards the surface. The surface ones are more for grubbing, they're looking for food to actually eat, and they're just pushing up the soil, and it kind of looks like a mound going along the ground. The tunnels lower down are actually where they live and move, and it's easier to trap them in those deeper tunnels, but you can also trap them on the upper tunnels, you just have to pack some dirt around the side of the trap in order for it to stay up. A second piece about this trap is that it's operation is most successful when it's vertical. There's times where you'll be tempted to put it into the ground at an angle, especially if there's like a gopher hole instead of a mole hole. You might be tempted to stick it right down in the hole. It's always better to use the probe tool and to go straight down into the ground, keeping the trap vertical. The basket at the end that actually catches the mole inside of it is made out of stainless steel and when it goes off there's a little trigger inside of there and it flops around it's designed to flop around like that it's sitting like this and when the mole goes through here it hits that trigger and the mole gets trapped inside of there if you ever need to like replace this and basket they have replacements for that take the spring and you can twist it off so that it's safe Super simple, these traps are really cool. Those two traps I just tried, they wouldn't set. Figure out if you get one of these in the mail and it's not clicking, it's not, it's kind of sliding up like this, but it's not locking out. Just go ahead and hit it like this a couple times and then it'll set. Another important tip is when you do catch a mole, this is gonna pop up and you're gonna see yellow. So it's really easy to tell from a distance if you caught a mole or not. When you go to pull it out, you should grab right up here at the top and pull straight up. You can do a little uh, twisty motion if you need to. The reason why you don't want to grab down here, if you go to try to pull up, then it's going to compress the spring, exposing the basket, and you might bend it. Uh, this trap has been used quite a bit, and the basket's still in okay shape, but if it happens to get out of shape, you might just replace uh, the basket. I haven't had to replace a basket yet. 
Another fact that's really important you should know, made in the USA. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. So I had a ton of moles on the property and I really wanted to figure out how to get rid of them. I had one of these traps and I had used it with success and I decided to give Gopher Hawk a call. I told him that I would share this video with you guys and I told him that I really liked the product. They sent me a box full of some more traps. I went and placed those traps all over the property. I put them on the neighbor's property as well. I got super excited because this is what happened next. Before I show you the results, let me walk you through real quick how you set these traps because they're really cool. So they come with two parts. If you get the kit together, it comes like this and then you can uh, buy additional uh, traps, but you really only need one of these. You go to your mole mound, you slide this off, you probe around the mound and you'll feel it kind of slip in when it hits the tunnel. Once you find that spot, slide it back into the tube and then you use this wedge to bore down into the ground kind of moving it like this as you push down. I'll do a couple circles, I'll push down, I'll do a couple more circles. And again, you'll find when it hits that hole, the tunnel down below, it slips down just a little bit. And that's just more confirmation that you're in the right spot. I had a couple times where it was really hard to tell where the tunnel was. And these are designed so you don't have to do any digging to set the trap. But there were a few situations where I just wanted to be 100% confident that I was putting this in the tunnel. And so I moved the mole mound aside. I dug down in the middle where the soil is a little more moist. And then just kind of pushing on the walls, you can feel where it gives in, that's where the tunnel is. That gave me confirmation of, okay, the tunnel is right here. Then I would probe right there and I would feel it. And I'm like, okay, that's good. I would put the mole mound back, fill in that hole, and then I'd set the wedge and move the dirt apart. And then I had a good solid hole uh, going straight down into the ground, exposing where the tunnel was. You pull this out and then that's where you set the trap. So you take the trap, you slide it all the way to the bottom of that hole and then without pushing down on the top here, you just hold on and you pull this black sleeve up, compressing the spring and it'll click like that which exposes the wire basket. And as the mole comes through the tunnel, it's gonna go inside of here and it's gonna hit that little trigger. All right, now we're back in the back field behind our church and there's obviously a mole back here as well. So we're gonna set up all these traps, see if we can get this guy. I just set six traps. See if we can catch this guy. All right, so we set a bunch of the traps up a bunch of them went off, some of them that didn't, I moved them around to different locations, but let's go ahead and see the results. It's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Another one bites the dust. So I can caught another one. I felt pretty confident about this one, because there's a, a tunnel that goes right underneath the wood here. Just pull straight up. And there we go. Sure enough. Got him. It's only been a couple hours since we set these traps out here by the road and we already caught a mole. I definitely think that taking all of your traps, if you have multiple traps, and trying to focus on one mole at a time is a lot better because you can target a bunch of different locations and you're more likely to catch it rather than having your traps spread all out. I've consolidated all the traps to one location and caught the mole and then moved on to the next location, caught the mole, and I'm catching them a lot quicker now. <laughs> Coming for you, moles. <laughs> We got one. So here's something new. I set six traps in this one location behind me and we have a trap over here that's been triggered and a trap over there that's been triggered. 
So we're gonna see if we caught two in the same area. I thought that there would just be one mole in one specific area, but. Wow, there you go. There you go. Ooh, that's a fatty. Feels like it. Oh yeah. Another fatty. Yeah. Those are big. That's awesome. Okay, I have some helpers with me today. Oh ha ha! We caught them all. You see his little nose? Oh yeah. And he's got claws. Yeah. So I just showed Buck how to set the trap, and I'm gonna give you a brand new trap. You can take that with you, and he's gonna do some filming at his house and let us know how it goes. Yeah. Okay. Caught them all. At least we think so. That's what yellow should signify. Oh yeah. We caught Look at that. Woo. You guys, these traps work really well. Gopher Hawk, thank you so much for sending me some more of them. I'm sure I'll probably get some more in the future because they're awesome and they work really well. And it's just the best feeling when you can get rid of your mole problem quickly and efficiently and in a humane fashion. You guys, I'm so excited for our baby boy to be here. It's just gonna be a matter of weeks and he's gonna be here. I am definitely gonna share with you guys once he gets here, uh, tell you what his name is. And so stay tuned for that. We'll see you in the next one. Dads, hats off to you. Now get out there and catch those moles.